Might there be a little more interest in Washington State against the presumptive potential West Arizona? I think there might be. Large game for the Cougs coming up here on the road. Look at that. Arizona laying 12 and a half. They've laid some big numbers before and failed to cover at home. This total is 150 and a half. Brother Nadu, train horns aside, we come back to you. Handicap a bit, please. For Washington State's at-large hopes, this would be enormous. They're kind of right on the cusp. We'll go over that in a minute, but this would be enormous if they can somehow get the win. What are your thoughts on this game? Well, yeah, speaking of trains, I mean, Arizona kind of seems like one at home, right? I mean, like a locomotive, and they just bury you. Um, Look, I think you make the case Washington State is the second-best team in this conference. It's been a rough year for this conference. I mean, UCLA struggled. Colorado, you know, kind of lost on the road. But Kyle Smith's done a great job there. Really impressive stuff. Uh, but this number kind of speaks for itself to me. Um, it kind of reminds me of, of, in a way, we kind of all bought in, I think, a, a week or so ago to Auburn with South Carolina. How could South Carolina be an 11, 12-point dog? And, you know, Auburn blitzed them. I get the mm-hmm. feeling Arizona does this, too. They are a, an immovable object in the McHale Center. They just don't lose by – or they don't – not cover the spread by less than 15 a lot of the time. They're a running, uh, falling knife, and I wouldn't try to catch it. Um, I, I just have a lot of, um, you know, I'm just not going to like uh, take points with, with any team in the McHale Center. It's kind of a simple handicap. I think this would be a game where Washington State will kind of go in and uh, try to get into the teeth of defense. We know Arizona's huge. That's not going to happen. Uh, throw in the fact that uh, this is a major revenge game. I mean, this is one of the games Arizona lost in conference. So, yeah, I, I think uh, this number speaks for itself. Lay it. I think this is like an 88-70 type of game. Interesting. Again, on the profile for Washington State, Kyle Hunter, they're 32 in the net. Out of conference strength of schedule, not great. They don't really have – I mean, they beat Boise State um in spokane at a uh, at uh, at home in spokane they don't really have an out of conference noteworthy win away from home this would be a huge road moment for them they did beat oregon at oregon uh, earlier in the year as jeff made mention they did beat arizona earlier in the year at home handicap a little bit here do you see this as a high scoring game or can can wazoo slow it down a bit here on the road well, I mean, we know that uh, the two teams want to do different things here. I think if Arizona jumps ahead early, it's really a big positive for the over here because Washington State can't keep playing their style of basketball. And Arizona has had some really good first halves in general, especially at home. So I think Arizona first half would be my lean in this game. Probably lay it with Arizona would be my lean for the whole game, too. I think I, I largely agree with what Jeff said, that Washington State is a – Definitely a good team. I don't think they're an elite team. They're very well coached. Kyle Smith's a great coach. But, you know, they're really up against it here. Um, this is this is a Washington State team that does still have issues on offense at times. They can go through some scoring droughts. Arizona, not really a good team to go through those droughts against. And other than that game against UCLA at home, I mean, Arizona's been blowing people out at home. Uh, I think this is the type of spot where, uh, you know, Washington State just looks like Jeff said, it almost looks too good to be true. Uh, you know, Washington State plus the points. I lean Arizona here, and I would also lean the over thinking that they get their pace. Here. Keep in mind, Arizona, five losses this year, four of them. If you can hold them under 30 percent, they've lost. Right. So if you can hold them under 30 percent, which it's not easy to do. But From that's the, the three key. point line, you mean. Right, Correct. Right. Correct. Uh, in, in All their losses have correlated to not shooting the ball well. This Washington State game is a prime example. Seven for 24 from three. Also missed eight free throws. Again, what are we going to see that won't happen again? I think this game's reminiscent of, our, of uh, South Carolina-Auburn. R- really strikes me as that kind of game. Interesting. You called that, by the way. You were all over that on the show officially, and it was a blowout. Uh, 105 points the other night on their rival Arizona State last Saturday night destroyed them. They haven't played now going into the midweek until Thursday night. Previous two home games with Stanford 82 before that uh, with Cal 91. That's what Washington State is up against. Can they hang in? The guys, uh, Jeff Nadu doesn't think they're going to hang in, and the guys are saying look out for Arizona to score a bunch of points on Washington State. We'll see what it is. Eight uh, Pacific time 
tonight from the McHale Center, uh, 9 local time in Tucson this evening.